Hello and welcome. I'm Brett Dupree. This is my awesome health journey. How do you like my shirt? My dad gave it to me because uh, he lost a lot of weight and he gave, uh, picked out some of his uh, bigger clothing that he's getting rid of. So I have a white shirt that I'm going to ruin because I ruin white shirts. I try not to, but I do. Anyways, today I'm talking about not judging yourself in the presence by your past. And I'm not, I'm talking about this in terms of health and what I've had to do in the last year and a half, because holy crap, that's been one of the hardest things that I had to do to be able to continue to work out, especially at Orange Theory. It would have been impossible, especially at the beginning, because all my life I have been an athlete and in a way that like, I'm not saying I'm, you know, professional football player type athlete, but I've always been a pretty decent athlete. I mean, I was captain of the wrestling team when I was in high school. I was um, first team <laughs> North South Puget Sound League as a defensive lineman. And I'm only 5'8". I mean, I have to be pretty decent. And, you know, I was able to bench 315 like it was nothing. I had a mental block about getting above that because that's scary. But 315, I used to I'd be able to do like 10 times without real an issue. And yeah, so all my life, getting in shape would be a couple weeks of suck, and then I would see progress. And that's the way it's always been. It's got slower and slower as I got more and more out of shape. It took a little bit longer, but honestly, after two weeks, three weeks, a month, I'd be fine. And I start seeing significant gains in my strength and my uh, ability to move my body. And that all changed a year and a half ago when I started uh, Orange Theory that April. Or a year ago, actually. Because two years ago, I actually did the same thing. I used the under desk bicycle and I would go for walks. And by the end of the summer, I was in pretty decent shape. I wouldn't say I was good shape, but I liked where my body was. And I could build off that. And then during the winter, I stopped going on walks. My underneath bicycle broke. And it was like $180. I didn't want to buy a new one, which I should have. I should have just bought a new one, same one. Any other ones I've tried have been cheaper or just don't work. I just need something that hooks up on the chair. Anyway, and so I got out of shape again. That was also when I was doing all those food challenges. I gained a lot of weight at the beginning of this process, which I'm happy to get here now in terms of food. But back then, I didn't like it too much. And then I hurt my back in a way that I've never hurt my back before. I've never hurt my back where it's lasted for two months. It's generally been two weeks at the max. And starting over at Orange Theory was awful. That was awful. I was in constant pain from my body being out of shape. I don't know what happened, but I guess that's age for you, being in my mid-40s and not moving my body. Just the side of my body was like, fuck it, let's just atrophy. And so when I actually started moving again, doing like, I was barely moving. I was doing like, you know, tread as much as I can, 0.8 miles per hour, one mile per hour, and then barely moving when I got on the floor and then be dead for a fucking week and a half. Fucking dead. You don't understand how much that upset me. Um, It wasn't for just my desire to live and um, working with my therapist, working with my uh, nutritionist. And starting September, working with my psyche friend. And um, also the people at Orange Theory encouraging me consistently, especially Veronica and the coaches like Josh. And that did help me through that part. But that fucking sucked. I know I'm cussing a lot because I don't think you understand how much I hated that. Um, especially since I used to be. And I, I would have to constantly tell myself I can't judge myself from the past. Constantly. Because if I did, I'd quit in a fucking heartbeat. This one has a lot of cussing. Because I fucking hated it. I hated the way my body was. I hated the fact that I had to push so hard. I hated the fact that, like... I hated the fact going to the fucking... Um, uh, you know, that also kept me going. Like, going to my car would win me out. I fucking hated that. I've hated that so much. And the way the pushing... And, the, and I would have to constantly tell myself... You can't look at the past based on where you are. You have to start now. You have to start now. And I saw the same thing someone did. Uh, part of like Orange Theory Facebook groups. And someone was like, I haven't done Orange Theory in two years. I want to start over. And 
course, I'm following my own personal advice of not having unsolicited advice. So I didn't write anything. But the thing I want to say to this person is simply you're not starting over. You're starting now because that's what you're always doing. Every day is a new beginning. You're starting now based on how you are now. Based on, and it could change. If I blow out my back again and won't be able to work out for six months, and six months from now I have to start, I'm not starting over. I'm starting from that point. I'm starting then. There's no starting over. It's not over. I didn't, I mean, maybe you can think of it as building on what you did last time, but why? Why put myself through that? And I tell myself, I'm just where I am and I have to accept it. I have to accept this is my body right fucking now. This is who I am right fucking now. And if I want to improve it for the future, I have to work on it now and not care about where I was in the past, not care about the athlete I was, the athlete's gone. I'm in my 40s now. I'm gigantically huge. That's a lot to fucking move. And I have to accept that I'm where I am now if I want to continue to do this. And if I don't, I am just going to torture myself. And I don't want to torture myself. I want to be able to move. I want to be able to continue to exercise. I want to exercise 12 times a month so I am a healthier person. And so I have a chance to live longer because I'm afraid of death. I would have to do that. And I can't psych myself out by thinking about how I used to be when I was younger, how I used to be when I was working out last time, how I was used to be. That doesn't help me. And I only want to think in ways that help me, think in ways that serve me, think in ways that get me what I want out of life and not hold myself back and self-sabotage by creating this picture of who I should be based on decisions I didn't make or things that didn't happen. I did hurt my back. I did gain 40 pounds by working on food challenges. Those happened. And so thinking that it should be different doesn't help. And I just have to, I just had to do it. And even now when I'm in better shape than it was, I think now I'm finally where I was two years ago, two and a half years ago. And I just have to keep on pushing because that's what I want. And I have to think about now, not even where I was a year ago. Sometimes I think about a year ago being like when I feel dejected that I'm averaging less than two miles per hour on the treadmill. When they say like power walkers walk 3.5% and that's like my max. I don't think I even hit 3.5 miles per hour, 3.5%, 3.5 miles per hour. I don't think I even hit that yet. And I just have to tell myself, like a year ago, you're doing 0.8. So I'm using, so I can use the past to um, energize myself to feel better about where I am now. But I can't use it, you know, gotta use it to serve me, not hinder me. And it's, that's my choice. So basically, what I'm saying is this entire process, I just had to let go of who I was and embrace who I am now, and continue to push forward. Because that's all I can do is cons- just accept reality of the situation of the current moment. And then work to improve it. If you like this, you rock. If you don't like this, I don't know why you watched that for 8 minutes and 40 seconds of your life. You could have done something different. Um, I haven't decided how to end these yet. But I, I do like my rambling. It amuses me. So love you. Like, comment, um, subscribe. I guess share. I don't know. Whatever. Hi.